It is our duty to preserve this island continent for all eternity to the white race, irrespective of where they may come from. O'Malley. Ah, uh, O'Malley. Aborigines have not the intelligence, interest, or capacity to vote. Protection for white Australia. We intend to keep this country white. Not a black or even dark skin among its inhabitants. <laughs> It's gonna be real with everybody. Um, he, uh, he killed it. He was massacred. Ordered the dispersal of 50 Aboriginal Australians. There is no inhumanity in the practice of chaining Aboriginal people by the neck. Uh, my man Kingston here came up with the white Australia policy. <laughs> the white and coloured races, for biological and economic reasons, are better apart, each in its own country. Don't hire colored people. It's me, Andrew Fisher. <laughs> That's the goat right there. Shooting Indian people uh, was a splendid substitute for tiger shooting. Now, now Grand Masters of the Dawn might, I, have fair girls in their lusts. Father of the stolen generation. Martin wanted the Commonwealth to regulate the affairs of the people of colored or inferior races. The white Australia policy has been the salvation of this nation. It is utterly inappropriate to grant the franchise to the Aborigines or ask them to exercise an intelligent vote. The spirit of Australia, the spirit of our race, the spirit that has made us free men, that has carved out the empire, and that alone can hold this country a white Australia and a free government. If Britain wins and we stand with her, the white Australia policy is ever safe. <laughs> <laughs> The Aborigines, as a class, is susceptible to the sixpenny pence in a manner which does not ordinarily apply to the white man, famously not gambling white man.